Hi guys, Archie Luxury, and today guys, I'm very proud to introduce a new sponsor of the Archie Luxury and the Paul Pruder channels. Who am I talking about? Whatshopping.com, whatshopping.com, whatshopping.com. Check them out, guys. Jump online, check out whatshopping.com. These guys here have been in business since 2017. Worldwide shipping and distribution. Over 10,000 wristwatches in inventory. Stock in hand and 90 plus different brands, new and pre-owned. Now, the good thing about watchshopping.com, trusted by over 4,000 reviews on Chrono24 and Trustpilot. Your one-stop shop to buy any watch your heart desires. Please, guys, check out watchshopping.com, watchshopping.com, watchshopping.com. I'm Archie Luxury, and check out watchshopping.com. Hi guys, Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluter channel doing paid review 22QA39 wristwatch check. I'm wearing a Rolex Milgauss. And this here is a paid review for Ollie. Hello Archie, bought my first nice watch last year, a 36mm Omega Seamaster Professional. Shortly followed by a Rolex Explorer 2 Polar Chi 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 Dai Mais for two and seven thousand euros respectively. Very happy with both these watches and I'm not trying to get rid of either. Lately I've been wanting to add a piece and have been eyeing Tudor Black Bays. They seem like a great deal compared to Rolex and I want a utilitarian watch. I don't want to have to worry about as I work with my hands. I am hesitating between the standard black bay, black bezel and the silver cased version. The main difference for me is the retro looking gold versus the more modern Silver contoured numerals. The price is quite close. Is it really just styling? I'm a young up-and-coming 26 year old from Paris who works in the film industry as a special effects technician. I need your honest opinion. Other watch options no bigger than 40 mil are welcome. Best regards, Ollie. P.S. have sent you 100 US to your PayPal. Thank you so much, Ollie. Ollie, so we're looking at Tudor Black Bays. Uh, now, when you say silver case, what, what, which one exactly are you looking at there? Uh, hesitating between the standard Black Bay bezel and the silver cased version. So, the standard, I, I, I would go for the steel. I think myself the silver is a bit gimmicky. In fact. I would say you're probably better off in your case to go for a Black Bay 58 because the big problem I find with the standard Black Bays is they are too big. They are a big chunky monkey, chunky monkey watch. Not so much the, the diameter, it's the, the height of these buggers. They're really quite big brutes. So I, I got to be totally honest with you, 26 year old, uh, I would say to you seriously, just slow down a bit. You've got an Explorer 2, that is a fabulous watch. And you've got a 36mm Seamaster Professional, okay, so that's the, you know what, I, I would tend to just stop, stop, okay. I'm not sure whether I would continue consuming. And I say that with affection because I like to see young people come into the hobby, but I've got to be totally honest with you. Um, you don't need, often people come in and they build their collection too, too fast. And that's where you run into problem. You put all your money into this hobby 
and then you need it for something else and you of course you've put everything in you've got to sell it so to be honest with you Ollie I think you've just got to take a step back if you've got the Explorer 2 I would really just enjoy that I'd possibly get rid of the Omega Seamaster 36 mil you know it is what it is but I would say a Black Bay 58 and your Explorer 2 would be a great combo later on to fill the Amiga void I'd probably get an Amiga Speedmaster man on the moon but you're 26 years old I would take it easy don't rush don't race to get something I would just take it easy slowly that's what I would be doing I wouldn't be rushing and hurrying it's um, very important that you enjoy the hobby I think the big problem is so many people we get so impatient and you know the, the big problem is there's such Instagram wankers out there you always see them they got gold solid gold platinum and it makes it seem like the acquisition of a standard a normal person's watch and steel is garbage and that's not the case most people in this world today struggle to get any sort of Rolex. You've already got an Explorer 2. My, my advice to you, a young man, would be to enjoy the Explorer 2. I would say the 36mm Seamaster, you know what? That's, a, that's not a great size. Nobody really wants that size, Ollie. I want to be honest with you because I don't want to waste your time. You're a nice young guy. I'm going to tell you honestly, I would ditch that. Nobody wants the 36 mil fucking size, okay? It's toxic. Dump it. Dump it and get a Black Bay 58. Don't get this silver. Definitely, I hope you, when you say normal case, you're not talking PVD. It, that's the black plastic shit. Because that, let me tell you that, that gets damaged. It's fucked, okay? It is fucked. So just make sure you, that's not what you're referring to. I reckon Black Bay 58. You have a Black Bay 58. You have your Explorer 2. That's it, man. Enjoy them. Young guy, 26. I wouldn't be looking at adding a significant watch to that for a number of years. Maybe when you turn 30, get yourself a Speedmaster. But I say this honestly to you. Please enjoy yourself. You're young and handsome and you know what? Make sure you have good sex with some women. That's what I would do. Don't worry too much about having this super collection. That's for when you get older. When you're in your 50s like me and no one wants to fuck you anymore, then you can build a watch collection. Don't, don't do that. At your age there, man, go play the market. Go have, go drink champagne with women. Go and have restaurants. Go and have, you know, have amazing sex. That's what you need to do at that age. That's my best advice to you. Don't put all your money into building this collection. That shit can wait. That's for old fuckers like me who can't get free fucks anymore, you know? But for you, young man, okay, keep the Explorer, don't ever sell it, it's a Rolex. Sell that dog shit, Omega, 36 mil, nobody fucking wants that size. And I'd get a Black Bay 58, that's what I'd do. Get the standard one, don't get the fucking silver, don't get a PVD one, get a standard Black Bay 58 and enjoy it, that's it, man. Go and, go and have great sex. If you're in the film industry, man, you've got sexy babes all over the place. Go and enjoy yourself, man. You're not going to be 26 forever. Believe you me, I can, I can tell you. I can tell you that for sure, man. I'll, I'll, I'll show you some amazing things. I tell you what, man. This was when I was... Uh, 
This was when I was 16. It feels like yesterday. I'm in the same office. I'm in the same studio. That's exactly where it was. I, this is exactly where this photo was shot, where I'm filming this video today. I, I, man, I had the world at my, I, I'm angry. I look at that young man there with hope and optimism and I'm fucking angry that I didn't, didn't sleep with more bitches, didn't have more fucking fun. I was too busy trying to climb the corporate tree. That's what I fucking, I, I, I regret it, man. I, I really fucking regret it. And, uh, you know, later on, there I am, there I am at, in my 30s. And fuck, you know what I mean? I should have fucked more bitches when I was younger. That's what I should have done. Worry about building this watch collection. That's for old fat people in their 50s to do, okay? When you're your age, one or two watches, man, get the Speedmaster as a 30th birthday present. Go and have amazing sex. That's what I would do, man. Please hear me out. Listen to me. You're not going to be 26 forever. Go and use that magnificent body you've got. Go and, and, and enjoy yourself. I kid you not, man. I'd, I'd swap my collection to be 26 again. I would. I would, man, but I can't. It's not sort of the deal that you can do. So that's my advice. Get rid of the fucking 36 mil Omega, nobody really fucking wants that. 36 mil's not fucking going anywhere, okay? Okay, so just get rid of that. Get your Black Bay 58 and go and have fun with your life. I really do appreciate you sending me the paid review there. I love you, man. I love you. I don't say this badly to you. I really do love you. Go and enjoy your body. Go and have some fun with some beautiful actresses and you know just make a whole lot of nasty dodgy promises you could never keep bed as many as you can that's my advice okay guys like subscribe and tell your friends it's your pontiff here guys i cannot survive on google ads alone i desperately need more paid reviews paid reviews keep me full time on youtube without paid reviews I cannot survive. Please get a paid review done. Get a paid review done. And it will really help me. Help me survive. Okay, guys. See you in the next one. See you in the next one. Remember, paid reviews, 50 US dollars. I'll give you honest advice, no bullshit, true honest advice, any topic, anything you want. I'm Archie Luxury. See you soon. Hi, guys. It's Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to talk to you about David SW. David SW, David SW. Guys, if you are in America, if you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or crispy creams for your dealer hoping to get a Rolex at retail. It's futile. Please, guys, save your dignity. Keep some pride go to david sw i would highly recommend david sw david sw if you're in america and you're looking for a watch go to david sw david sw david sw hey guys archie luxury on the youtube sensation the Paul Pluto channel guys I need you to help me out guys I can't survive on Google Ads alone I need you to request a paid review 50 US dollars look down in the description 50 US dollars are we I will review your collection I'll tell you what I think of it and I'll give you some pointers 
The other thing is, guys, you can sponsor me on Patreon. Patreon allows you to pay a couple bucks a month, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, whatever you want. And it keeps me going on YouTube because, guys, I'm in a niche. Nobody can make money out of the views I get. The views are crap because it's a small, specialized area. And I don't talk about garbage for the sake of views. Guys, sponsor me on Patreon. Look down below and I will see you in the next one. Yeah.